Hello and welcome to the Chess Creator YouTube video channel. In today's video I'd like to run through a simple trap, uh, perhaps the most simple trap and something that many people will already be familiar with. However, quite surprisingly when I looked at the free internet chess server in one month more than 200 people fell for this almost instantaneous checkmate and for that reason I thought it was worth producing a very quick video just to revisit something which is known as scholars mate. This opening or opening trap goes as follows e4 e5 White then has a choice between Queen H5 or Bishop C4. We'll use the example Queen H5 and many of you will be cringing at this move um, whilst it's not a blunder from White um, it is considered premature to bring the Queen out so early. It allows her to be pushed back by the minor pieces. What White's hoping for is a schoolboy or schoolgirl mistake where Black plays g6 allowing the Queen to capture the pawn with check and then capture the rook. In this trap though Black plays the correct move Knight c6 and White continues Bishop c4. Now there are various different types of trap, some of them are a deliberate suboptimal move which tries to trick the opponent into taking something, others are temporary sacrifices such as poison pawn variations. Um, this is really less about being a trap and more about being a brute force attack on black's weak f7 square. You can see here that the the Queen and the Bishop are both targeted at f7 and as I said um, perhaps quite surprisingly more than a hundred players um, just completely overlooked this threat and played a host of, of moves the most common of which was Knight f6 to seemingly drive the Queen away which obviously uh, results in a rather embarrassing and very quick end to the game. As I said this is known as scholar's mate and it's something that most of us um, were taught shortly after learning the rules of the game. Um, what I found quite surprising when I was looking at um, the, the fixed database is really how common the move Queen H5 is. Um, and as I may have said earlier it was played in over 5,000 games in in one month um, and I guess really the only merit of playing that is you know putting pressure on black's weakest square um, and also threatening the pawn if um, if black responds to e4 with e5. Um, for those of you that are interested in a way to uh, really respond to Queen h5 or avoid these brute force attacks on f7. Um, one simple way to do that would be just to adopt the French defence, which is e4, and uh, black responds with e6. Um, at this point, black has blunted the diagonal of the bishop and made the move. Queen h5 um, rather pointless because black can then play knight f6 and is attacking the queen and the pawn um, which usually forces white to get a hasty retreat at which point black can just continue with normal development. Um, so for those of you that weren't aware of scholars mate it's well worth being aware of that and um, for those of you looking for a simple way to avoid 
very quick brute force attacks on the F7 square, I can recommend the French defence. I hope this has been useful. I hope it helps you increase your chess rating. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them on YouTube.